He has super, super itchy feet. Okay. Um, and then now the spring's coming inside his folds here. He's very red and itchy, so he'll rub his face. How about this nose? Has it always been a little bit kind of It's been like that for like three years. And I literally put stuff on it every night. <laughs> so I'm looking for any sort of bacterial yeast that might be overgrowing. This is from the pod. And <clears throat> definitely contribute to a lot of licking, a lot of discomfort, a lot of inflammation. I don't see much on the samples, which is good and bad. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's good. It's good in the sense that you're not seeing a lot of bacterial yeast um, overgrowing, but it just means that there's nothing infection-wise to treat. Yeah. So he has a um, he has a little he has a growth here, like a little. Um, like a little papilloma here, you can tell. Um, so that probably is contributing to some of what's going on in, the, in that ear, you know, why it's a little bit worse, because then the wax can't come out as well. Right now, I don't think it's presenting a big problem, but uh, it's if it's not blocking the canal, um, then, then it's not going to be a problem, but that's probably why that ear is accumulating with more wax so it's right, right. right now. So just something we look at like every yeah. time he comes for a vaccine yeah. or whatever yeah. we'll just keep an eye on it. Yeah we should keep well, well we should probably look at it again maybe three okay three four months or so okay. um see what it looks like and that will be again the summertime yeah when things are probably you really, know, flaring, really up. flaring up. Okay. You know the other thing to think about um is you know, do we really want to allergy test and get him started on, on allergy therapy. Yeah. Based on what you're telling me, it's probably a good idea. Um, particularly if we're, if he's a little iffy on oral medications, um, or if he's prone to get a GI. Yeah, oral I mean he doesn't have a problem taking them. He takes them, no problem. Yeah. It's just what starts to interact yeah. with him or whatever. So, you know, that's something that can help to treat him and hopefully have us avoid, you know, giving more oral medications. <laughs> Probably a little bit higher risk for like sedation and doing a skin test mm -hmm. um, since he is a bulldog and he does he has some airway <laughs> Dr. restrictions. Airway restrictions. <laughs> um, so we could also consider blood testing and doing um, uh, doing allergy therapy based on a blood test if we want to forego sedating. Neurotest Something to think about. Um, mm -hmm. I would say that. Particularly if he gets worse when the seasons, when things get warmer out, then we probably want to shoot closer to that. Okay. As far as so doing this do allergy like, test. Do so. What if we did like decide a point for like the next two yeah. months ish? Yeah. Like, let's see if it starts to get really mm -hmm. heavy, like when the grass is really yeah. out and green and stuff like that. Yeah. And do that. Okay. Yeah, and even if he's not, you know, I would still think about that would doing be the it. Time to do it. I would still think about doing it yeah. because. Um, you know, and that way, you know, maybe he can come off the site, you know, come off the site of one not getting so long. Yeah.